Hello everyone, and welcome to our Fandom special. We just finished watching it, so let's get to it. Yeah, we're gonna break it down. Uh, it ended about 40 minutes ago. Yeah, so uh, in today's timeline. Where do we begin? There was, there was quite a lot there. Um, we got TV shows, I think, I think... I think movies. we should start with the, the movies. Is that yeah? Let's we'll start with the movies. Kind of the thing I think the most people wanted to see. Yeah, um, we were excited about yeah. all the new movie trailers. We were quite excited. I underwhelming. I think a little bit in terms of trailers. I say there's really only one trailer that came out. Uh, a couple mm-hmm. teasers. A lot of teasers. Yeah, yeah mostly just us, teasers. Keep us hooked into it. DC maybe learned that with Dawn of Justice, you can't put a trailer out two years in advance. Yeah. Um, without showing too much of the movie. So that could be a change of of philosophy at DC. But anyways, let's get to our first movie. Uh, let's do uh, Black Adam. Um, very exciting. The Rock was there to uh, do a cool introduction. Um, what do you think of the first impression? Uh, it looks looks violent. <laughs> uh, I mean, just full on incinerates a guy with electricity. Yeah, just grabs him by the neck and uh... yeah, just ages him rapidly. I would say. I mean, that's not what he did, but that's what it looked like. Um, we know blood, so I guess we're avoiding that R rating so PG-13, far. PG thirteen, right? Uh, they didn't show anything that couldn't be undone. Um, still early, I'd say in post production, so that scene might not even be in the final movie. You don't know. Oh, I do hope so. Uh, yes, um, I think the big question with The Rock is: Can he stay with a serious tone of Black Adam the whole movie? Yeah, that's. I mean, he is known for his little quick, happy, and mm-hmm. uh, very easygoing uh, styles that he plays. So, uh, a serious Rock. Yeah, I think it's about time. Uh, I definitely think this will be a could be a. A career changing, not career changing, but a different style than he's used to. Yeah, another direction, which is it's pretty good. Um, I did enjoy his um, his suit, his look. Yes, his suit looks quite good. Um, very Superman-y, uh, as in the bullets are just bouncing off of him and they sound like metal, you know, ticked. He catches bullets, uh, which really shows off how powerful he is for some of you that don't know how powerful he is. You know, I I really like the, yeah, pretty much everything I saw in that trailer. I just want some more, and he didn't speak at all, so that is part of the Black Adam's uh, M.O. So uh, yeah, He's very quiet, very held back, very violent, but when he speaks, you listen. Um, we did get some behind the scenes of some of the other characters, Adam Smasher, Cyclone, Dr. Fate. Um, I thought the Helmet of Fate looked quite good. Agreed. Um, we'll see what Hawkman ends up looking like as well. Um, but anyways, I think that's all we got for that one. Not really a full trailer, as we said. It's just kind of a minute of what is expected to be in the movie. Well, let's move it on to movie number two, The Flash. Mm, this one was another exciting one. I was expecting a whole trailer for this one, and uh, apparently they're farther behind in post than we expected. Yeah, like Ezra Miller showed up at the beginning and kind of talked about how things aren't done yet, and he can't show us this awesome thing he wants to show us because yeah, he doesn't yeah. have it done. So mm-hmm. we got what we got, but it was still good enough. Mm, there was some, there was enough teasing there to really. I'm, I'm a high, I'm very much ready to see this movie. Yeah, me uh, too. Two Batman's, two Flashes, Supergirl. Um, this is gonna be a. I wouldn't want to say a crowded movie, but there's going to be a lot going on. Yeah, no, um, seeing older Batmans, like different timeline Batmans, is going to be really cool. Um, something that we don't get to see a lot in um, any of these uh, comic book movies. So. And Wayne, Wayne Manor looked quite good. Um, looks very old, very run down, which would fit with Michael Keaton being older. Maybe not needing or using the Batcave as much in his old age. Yeah, so what, let's see, what else do we have on the Flash there? Um, oh, the suit, uh, the suit, all yes. nice and flashy, yeah, the right? Flash off. suit looks very cool with the yellow like lines running through it. Yeah, it's uh, like a, almost like, almost like a Tron. Like a Tron, yeah, Tron I'd say, say is, Tron. could could have gotten some uh, influence on that suit. Um, yeah, what about? Um, let's see, what else did we see there? The flash ring, um, yeah, very cool. They will they will definitely be doing the the flash ring, a uh, very iconic piece of the Flash outfit. Um, 
But other than that, they didn't. They weren't able to show us too much of that one. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it was cool. I mean, it got my attention. And you hear Michael Keaton's voice over the, the backdrop of the, the teaser. You see that little Batman silhouette. Yeah. As you do the, see the, the ears at the end, and you can tell that it's the 89 suit, not Affleck suit. Is... Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, movie number three. Movie number three. What is movie number three? Oh, yeah, Shazam. Shazam. Oh, Shazam oh, Fury of the Gods. That one is yeah. just finishing up filming um but they actually showed i think more than the flash yeah um based off what they showed a lot of the effects look very practical uh, a lot of car flipping a lot of explosions um yeah, it doesn't look like they're going too quick but they do have to do a lot right obviously the suits will be will be computered in afterwards um but in terms of explosions, uh, I think we're going to see a lot of practicality in this one. I mean, Shazam is kind of geared towards uh, children a little bit, right? I mean, he's got children in the family. <laughs> since he turned from a kid to Shazam. Yeah, I mean, the, the villain in the first movie was definitely not geared towards a kid. Mark Strong was quite terrifying as whatever he was, his name was. I don't remember his name. Dr. Savani. Um, but we'll see with the two, Helen Mirian and Lucy Liu. Yeah, yeah, Helen Mirian, great actress. Yeah, she's done, great, like, everything. Uh, I mean, she's done The Queen, and she's just, like, that's awesome to see her as a villain. Uh, yeah, she finally made her way to a superhero movie. I'm not sure she's ever been in one. Oh, we'd have to check that check that out. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. um, and Lucy Liu as well. Yeah, she's done plenty of cool stuff. Plenty of action movies, plenty of, uh, the you know, the tough girl characters, spy movies, action movies. So we'll see what they bring to the table. Um, um, what about the creatures, the mythological creatures uh, yes, that they're having? Very, very heavy into to mythology. Um, you do see dragons, you see centaurs, you see... Yeah. They looked really cool of the concepts, and I'll, I love all the mythological stuff. Yeah, of course, that is, that is just uh, concept art, but uh, it also looks like the location. Uh, the first movie basically stayed in Philly, didn't really leave Philly. Um, but this one, they're going to the Mountain of the Gods. They're going back into um, where Shazam gets his powers. Uh, the Rock of Eternity. They'll be back there. Um, so hopefully we get some kind of Black Adam teases as he is his kind of his rival. Um, yeah, that'll be uh, pretty cool. That would definitely be a good trilogy ender for a Shazam style. Yeah, those movie. two together. Hmm, exciting and you get to see all the other shazams there as well oh yeah the shazam family yep. yeah they are back they are expected to be a major player in the movie and then i think we're on to our final movie the one that the everyone one that everyone that i wanted to see it's the one that's coming out first and that is robert pattinson's the batman yep uh, matt reeves directed it uh he did the planet of the apes trilogy um and this movie looks like it's gonna use its r rating yeah i mean it's a young a little bit psychotic batman yeah he's definitely unhinged i think is the yeah, word for yeah. it like nothing has brought him back down to earth since becoming batman they did mention him like having a difficulty breaking the bat from actual bruce wayne so like it's a little they less divided that bruce wayne is more is the mask in this movie not batman um i think that's becoming a very common theme they mentioned it and i I think it was the the animated show. They mentioned the same exact thing. You know, who are you? Is it yes. you or is it the are mask? Are you the Batman or are you Bruce Wayne? Um, and I think we're going to see a lot of the Batman. Uh, one rumor suggested he's in the suit most of the movie. Um, there's a line in the in the trailer. Alfred says that he is not sleeping at all. So yep. his psyche is probably a little probably damaged. damaged yeah cracked whatever terminology you'd like to use yeah we get to see a lot of rage in the movie oh uh, yes well. quite angry quite brutal um uh, using a baseball bat that to beat up on some people but with a baseball bat looks a little intense um also him just loosing it and just keep on beating somebody uh, as catwoman looks at him like what are you up to man mm-hmm. yeah yes so um, yeah that rage the... He's unable to solve the riddles. Um, as we see, we do kind of see Riddler. They kept him hidden, kind of, as in like a Michael Myers style. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't really show his face. You see the side of his face. You see him with a mask on. Um, but you don't really see him um, for whatever reason. I know they. another rumor has said they are using him like Jigsaw. I think we oh. talked about that in our last episode. Yeah, we did. 
Um, so yeah, he has this kind of like serial killer vibe as we see him in the trailer. Mm, when you first see him in the beginning of the trailer, he has like the same glasses and hairdo as like Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, so you get this creep. Yeah, it gives a very creepy vibe right off the bat. Um, and they take the whole police force to arrest him. So you know he has done something that uh, is not very good. Yeah, so I mean that... Uh... Seems to be a cool villain. Um, we also got our first look, official look, as Jeffrey Wright as Gordon. Uh, he yeah. Got the classic mustache. He looks uh, amazing. He's a great actor, he's so he should do great as that role. You see Andy Serkis as Alfred. Um, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell as the penguin. I mean, he was very unrecognizable. Maybe the craziest transition in film in, in quite some time. Yeah, if I didn't know, I'd just be like, hey, who's this random right. actor playing the penguin? But, yeah, very cool. Uh, very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, the lighting in this movie, I think, very is the dark. other thing that stands out. It's very dark. Um, but whenever they use gunshots, they're using that to their full effect, illuminating rooms. You see Batman coming at goons. Yeah, the same thing, uh, you know, Batman's M.O. coming out at night and doing most of the stuff at night. So, yeah, we don't see Bruce as much, so we're just going to get this Batman. Although, it's a very nice scene when it seems like it's the sun's coming up and Batman's Yes, there. it looks like it's the end of the day. You get another quick scene where he's just covered in dust and blood and he's had a rough, he's had a rough night. Um, don't know if that's in that chase with Penguin near the end of the trailer uh, where you get the silhouette of him walking out of that that burning car yeah i'm thinking about the um there's them saying that patent uh, rubber pattinson did say that the batman's a bit more bat obsessed you know like into right. the whole psyche right. yeah. he he just will not he he won't take the suit off right as he's supposed to hold on to it thinking that that rage will probably powers and fuels him mm -hmm. and i think one other thing i noticed was it almost looks like they're doing the arkham games gliding uh, he jumps yeah. off the roof of what I believe is the GCPD, um, and all the guard, all the police and Gordon are watching him kind of glide through the street. You get this like side view of him going by a building. Um, yes, yeah, so now by a man that's actually gliding from building to building instead of uh, using other means to get there. So yeah. and then very year one looking with the Catwoman suit. Uh, at one point she's wearing like a red wig which I'm pretty sure she did in that story as well. Yeah, so we're going for an old oh, beginning it's Catwoman. A, yeah, this is a very young... Both of them are very young. Um, as uh, Matt Reeves said, they both are into helping people that can't help themselves. That's kind of what attracts the two of them to one another. So we'll see where that leads. Um, it seems like she's going to be uh, a big factor in all three of the movies. Yes, definitely. She seems to be a big part player, plus a good actress, and I don't think they're going to just cut her off that right. quickly. Yeah, that, that would that would feel like a waste just to yeah. get rid of her that quickly. Definitely. Um, what about the bat uh, suit? Uh, he takes a couple of bullets. Uh, he takes a lot of bullets. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, shot right in the chest by one goon early on. Yeah, it was a handgun, like, close, close range. Right, yeah, right to the chest, and then later on, you just see two goons. With machine Fully guns. automatics, just unloading on him, and he doesn't even, doesn't seem bothered by it. Yeah, no, it seems like this suit's very hefty, um, and it can just, uh, you know, bulletproof almost. I'm sure he feels it in I, some way I, or I'm another. I'm interested to see how they play after so he's going to be, you know, hopped up on adrenaline, rage when he's doing this. When he, when he finally gets that suit off, is he going to start seeing the bruises? Is he going to feel the pain? Um, yeah, maybe that's why he just doesn't want to take it off. Right. Yeah, maybe. He doesn't want to deal with it. Like. <laughs> right, right. But uh, I think that uh, for the four for the four major teasers, I think that's kind of kind of it. Uh, we did yeah. see some other movies. Uh, Blue Beetle. Um, yeah. The director, uh, writer, and the lead were there. Yeah, something very different. It's a Latino uh, style of uh, movie because they're doing very Latin on that, you know, very family oriented. The hero finds the beetle and kind of puts it on in the suit. Yeah, the whole family knows that he is the blue beetle. As, as he compared himself to Spider-Man, you yeah. kind of... Spider-Man has no support system in the family as he goes home and he tries to hide it from his uh, aunt. Over here, it's more like he gets it and he d talks to his family right. about it. So right. it's like the Latin heritage kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, new hero. The suit looks pretty cool. And they all seem extremely excited about being a part of it. Right, yes. Uh, they, they did seem... I mean, it's going to be a very personal story to them, right? Yeah. I mean, as they talked about. Um, make sure you guys check that interview out. That was a good one. Yeah. 
Um, the next movie was Aquaman 2. Um, some concept art, concept art was going around yesterday. It almost looked like a journey to the center of the earth vibe, like big plants and and such. Um, not much was showing. You got a few pictures of Black Mana. Um, the Aquaman suit came out a few weeks ago, so nothing too new. Oh, we still know, yeah, Jason Momoa is doing him again. There's no yeah. way they're going to let go of him. And we know they're bringing back both the villains from the first one. <laughs> Black Mana and Patrick Wilson as Ocean Master are both back. It's a little, little like, seems like a lot. But... It, it feels strange to use both of them in the same movie, as I don't, I don't feel Aquaman has as many recognizable villains as, say, Batman or Superman um green lantern wonder woman um i mean he's got what he's got sadly i don't really like aquaman that much right yeah aquaman is a hard sell so they needed to i mean patrick wilson's a great actor um abdul mateen as black mana is, yeah he's is amazing a great actor uh he was very good in candy man very good as dr manhattan oh yeah the in series. the watchman tv show um I guess the only other movie that we that we saw was Wonder Woman three, which I'm not sure if that was supposed to be announced at the time. Yeah, it just seemed like nothing was gonna happen, and then suddenly uh... Linda Carter's just like, "Yeah, we're I'm really excited to see you writing Wonder Woman three and there's like a pause and a look at each other. Um, it's like, oh, was that supposed to say that? I guess right, we're saying that now. It wasn't live. Um, but DC must have decided they might as well just officially confirm it. It was rumored a while back. Um, that Peggy uh, Carter would return as as director, or Patty Jenkins, sorry, would return as director. Um, and the final question for movies I had was the Batgirl movie on HBO. Um, yeah. She was cast, and I don't think they even mentioned it. Yeah, I don't think they did. I mean, they talked about the TV show, but not the movie. I don't think I caught anything about it either. No, the only Batgirl they really talked about was the Gotham Knights, um, which we'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, and then an animated movie, I believe, had uh, the web, like the Webtoons-looking cartoon. I think they, they mentioned her in that, but the live-action Batgirl movie on HBO Max was not mentioned. Yeah, no, it was not. Um, all right, so that takes uh, care of the movies kind of part. Of the movies, uh, at least live-action, anyways. We have some animated stuff to go over. But on to the live-action TV shows. I think the first big one comes out, kind of the next DC property to come out is the Peacemaker show by oh. James Gunn with John Cena. Yeah, John Cena is just like so much Peacemaker. Right, he loves that character, obviously. It was a character made for him. Yeah, he seems to be a super fan of himself, and it's awesome to see that energy just radiating from an right. actor and the character, and it's just uh -huh. like, it's great. Um, uh, James Gunn called him the best, one of the best. Um, uh, he just kind of comes up with lines on the spot. Uh okay. Uh, yeah, improv improv actors he's worked with so we'll see we'll see how much of the show was actually written by john cena gun <laughs> says he wrote all eight episodes but how much of that did uh cena kind of kind of write on his own well i mean he's got some uh sidekicks here too um other he does he is vigilante who seems to be just as much into the violence as he is as you see a little montage of them destroying off. stuff yeah, destroying stuff, shooting things, just causing a general ruckus. And another thing was seeing um, how Gunn was saying that he can't believe that he's getting away with all these crazy situations. Right, that... right. They, uh, he, he said, and I quote, uh, it'll be Warner Brothers' downfall yeah, or something like, along those lines. Like he's running around the set going, I can't believe they're letting me do right, this. And like... maniacally laughing. Um, and they also asked him what was characters he wanted to write but wasn't allowed to. And he said there was nobody. So, you do see a green figure in the trailer fighting Vigilante. Was not sure exactly who that was. I don't know if they've announced that. They never really mention it at the panel. Um, show wise, um, what else we got here? We have DC Cars. Okay, uh, we'll, yeah. So that start, we'll get into that one. That was a uh, Bat Wheels. Bat. It was like Bat. Yeah, it was Bat Wheels. It's so, like a Batman show, but it's mixed with car. You know, cars from Disney. Yeah, so it's like the cars are saying. the people. So uh, yeah, uh, very funny. Yeah, we definitely got a chuckle over that. Uh, yeah. So it's obviously more child oriented. I would. 
Maybe we could make it yes. like like a drinking show, and you know, every time the bat car <laughs> says, you know, welcome to Batland or something, yeah. then we drink. So uh, maybe one day we'll make our own little. I'll make that up at some point. <laughs> um, uh, the Sandman on Netflix. Uh, Warner Brothers is obviously spreading around properties. Um, and that looked really, Nancy really o. awesome. Yeah. Masterpiece. And he, he's amazing. I mean, some of his movies are just like crazy, surreal, um, scary stuff. You should definitely check him out. Mm-hmm. Um, Sandman looked awesome. Yes. That's a comic I will have to get a refresher on, maybe reread that. It's been a long time since I've read that. Um, they showed one picture of the of the main cast, um, one cast member, and that was about it for that show. Um, we got we got a small clip of Naomi uh, that was originally yes. in the comics created by Brian Michael Bendis. Yeah, so it's a kind of like a superhero that she's got some kind of tech power because we didn't really see what she does, but she ha- does have a lot of like detective stuff in the background. Right, the the poster. I, I have not read any Naomi. I, she's in the new Justice League um, and Infinite Frontier because it's written by Bendis. Um, and I did not read any of her solo stuff, so I don't know her powers. I don't really know anything about her. She is a newer hero. The last couple of years. So, you know, TV show would be good to kind of bring her up to to light for some of us that don't read that. Um, so yeah. Then we got a few other announcements. We got Doom Patrol's uh, season three's ending. They announced season four. Yeah, no, very uh, fun. We we both very enjoyed fun Doom show, Patrol. Very enjoyable. But I kind of want the DC Infinite Universe shows to end. The Titans and Doom Patrol. Personally, I would like them to just kind of end and and let HBO Max kind of take it. I feel like HBO was uh, just just better at content making. Their shows are always. They're all spot on, yeah. yeah. They're always awesome. Yeah, I agree with that. Every quality like show on HBO, DC wise, is just amazing. Um, it's pretty much got movie quality of mm-hmm. every aspect. Um, when it comes to the writing, the uh, CGI effects, and all that. So. And then we're on to the to the cable television shows, the CW ones. Uh, okay, I don't. Where do we start with this? We got Supergirl ending. Uh, last season should come out sometime either end of this year or beginning of next year uh, that's a very quick one uh they did a long panel with that with that cast just talking about memories of the show um you also have batwoman and batwing that's another cw show uh yeah. the batwing suit does look good uh, i have not watched that show yeah, it just seemed like the uh the uh, not the actor but the batwing uh Batwing person on the suit seems a little too cocky for my liking he right does, off the like, get go. He randomly take his mask off. Like, they beat up some goons and he just takes the helmet right off. Um, I found that a little, little strange. Maybe there's an in show reason for that. I don't know. Maybe they're in their own home or something. Like, mm-hmm. you know, but uh, yeah, Batman doesn't really take his thing no, off. No, you, like, you don't ever take your mask off in the, in the field. Um, and then it sounds like Batwoman has got a lot of kind of B and C list Batman villains. Uh, yeah. Mad Hatter. Killer Croc, who's I would say not not tier one Batman, but definitely a more known Batman villain. Yeah, he's one of the big ones for me at least. Like he's very known. You got Poison Ivy, who I'd say is probably his best female antagonist. I, I think I can't so. Think of anyone any any better? Um, although she has kind of pivoted into the anti-hero role as of late. And she's doing that with Harley Quinn, but we'll talk about mm-hmm. that in a little bit. Yeah, we have the animated Harley Quinn show to talk about later when we get to the animated stuff. Um, and I think that is that is about it. TV show. Oh, Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois. Season uh, two. Yeah, they that they, they interesting because I didn't know that they had you know in this show they have the two kids so it's a, you know an old uh, right. Superman and Lois that are together married and they have two kids so um yeah there's definitely a few comic book changes um Superman and Lois generally only have Jonathan Kent but they have I think his name was Jordan as the other son. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Uh, I didn't. I didn't catch it too much. Again, I have not watched that show, although it was highly reviewed compared to other CW type shows. So maybe something worth checking out. Um, the last thing here that I want to say about the shows is that it seems like the DC universe likes to keep their like DC family together from previous shows, newer ones. We saw a lot of cool older actors from older Wonder Woman's, older Batman's. You know, Matt Ryan is Constantine now. Apparently, only he can be cast as Constantine. But yeah, it just seems like they uh, they have a good feel about all their stuff, so it's mm-hmm. nice to see that on screen and on these uh, things like fandom. So um, yeah, we got the shows done. I think the the live action shows. I think we move into video games now. Uh, there was really two, and then a third one mentioned. 
but uh, the first one that we saw was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Um, it looks like it's a four-member squad with Harley Quinn, Killer Shark, uh, Captain Boomerang, and Deadshot. Um, and yeah, they are sent into Metropolis that so looks like it's under some kind of alien invasion that uh, has able to beat the Justice League as we see Wonder Woman at one point cutting one in half as yeah, she kills she kills an alien um, the teaser from last year showed Superman and then we also get two really cool clips one with Flash running and then one with Green Lantern making these like hologram or the, the ring steps like walking down steps even though he can fly yeah he's just you know um Trying to get attention as he's coming down. <laughs> right, like, like big most... entrance, yeah. Right. right. Um, and then the second video game? Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. That is... So the Ar- Arkham... Uh, the Suicide Squad game is set in the Arkhamverse. Follows the Arkham Knight game. The Gotham Knights game, which Bruce Wayne is allegedly dead, even though he allegedly died at the end of Arkham Knight, is not set in the Arkhamverse. Which does not make any sense. They could have just, you know, clicked it. and then, right, They could have you know. just been like, yeah, he died in the, the house collapse at the end of the game. And now we have these four left. Uh, the, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but the main antagonist is the, the Court of Owls. Yeah, they uh, talked a lot about how they looked at the comic and tried to turn the comic into a they, video. Yeah, they brought the directors or the creators of the court, Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder, directly to the studio and kind of said, look at what we're doing. Both of them kind of gave their, looks like they gave their thumbs up on that. Um, So that's pretty cool, getting original, you know, comic creators definitely are an afterthought, usually in movies and other media. Yeah, and I liked how they, uh, they would do the... The little side to side comparison of the comic and how it looked in the show, mm-hmm. and I mean in the uh, the game, and it looked really, really the, awesome. The atmosphere of the game looks amazing. There's yeah. owl, you know, there you see these uh, court layers with these big owl shrines, and you got the instead owl, of gargoyles, yeah. they're owls, owls. <laughs> like sticking out of the wall. Um, and then the another big change, well, one big change is there's more than just one type of talon, which is obviously a game mechanic change. You can't just have regular talons the whole game you had to throw in something new yeah so different uh, sizes a little a faster one that kind of walks on all fours Mm -hmm. then you have this big yeah you get the big one with the shield yeah that looked awesome which is obviously again a a game mechanic yeah you have to have you know different ways and different um tactics to kill every single bad guy so And and it does look like we do get other batman villains in the game as well we do see penguin in a that was he had the very like uh white suit on was that yeah, that one yeah, yeah. yeah so very very white uh looks like a kingpin almost <laughs> yeah pretty much a gotham knight so. so that was a that was a change because he's a he's scared of the court of owls so he's the one that's explaining right, so the a whole idea bit. of the original book was once batman starts digging into the court of owls nobody wants to talk about them because they're always listening they are literally uh, everywhere some people more believe they exist more so than others uh batman at the beginning of the book is convinced they're a myth they don't exist. Um, well, here you are. You're dead. Yeah, so <laughs> in the book, obviously, he finds out they do exist. They have since become a, a mainstay in DC Comics. Um, but uh, other game that was announced was a mobile game. They called it DC Heroes and Villains. Uh, sounds almost Injustice style, I guess. Uh, they didn't really show anything other than that. They just gave the name. But, uh, I, did, uh, I missed that one. Real quick. In the future... Uh, they talked about it for maybe 10 seconds. It was pretty quick. We, I mean, we just saw the suit that had the yellow kind right. of look you, to you it. Get like a, you get a quick view of like every hero, of a few heroes and a few villains. And that was that. Yeah, cool. And I think our final, final round of things is animated uh, movies and TV shows. We'll kind of combine them into one. What will we start with in this one? Uh, this is a big one. There's a lot to go on here. Uh, let me see. We have well, we have the Legion of Super Pets, which is a movie. Yep. Yeah, uh, very another <laughs> the rocks in this one as well with Kevin Hart. It seemed like it's going to be funny, so I mean, I, I think it'll be a lighter oh, yeah, side of the DC a DC one. Kid based movie. Uh, the Rock and Kevin Hart have great rapport together. They've done comedies previously. I mean, I laughed at the the short there, the trailer. So I mean, why not? Um, <laughs> I was just thinking. I wonder if my cat's going to like this one, but. 
Yeah. Uh, so yeah, all the super dogs will be in that one. Um, what about the Injustice animated? Oh uh, yeah, that is out in like a week, ten days. It's not. Uh, it's like actually, I think it's the twentieth. So maybe Wednesday. Uh, it's soon. It's it's very soon. Um, yeah, that one looked really cool. It looked very good. Uh, Pretty much video game to movie. Mm-hmm. As I said, they made the Injustice video game first, and then they, they the went comic, to the comic, and, and then now the animated movie. Which I don't know how they're gonna do that. There's a lot in the comic. Um, it's it's like 170 issues. Um, so I have a feeling they'll concentrate mostly on Superman's downfall and Batman fighting him. Um, so large swaths of that movie or that the source material are probably gonna be cut. Um, I did see IGN gave it like a six out of ten or a seven out of ten. Um, mostly they they kind of just said if you're looking to get into Injustice, read the comic or play the game and i like that it's also another one that the creators of the injustice game were brought in to uh help the uh, creators of the animated yes, yeah, movie they talked directly the writers uh did talk yeah the writers of the game were talking with the movie and the cast that was that panel yeah and they uh, they seem to love it too so mm-hmm. um and then we have what else do we have we have catwoman hunted that's another new set in the dc animated universe uh i think it's catwoman's first solo outing as a as a catwoman movie in the animated world can't think of and she's been in others she was in batman hush but i don't think she's had any titled catwoman uh basically it looks like everyone's hunting her after she steals this very rare gem um teaming up with batwoman um yeah um much to add to that yeah, there, was, there was a there was a quick trailer you can look that one up um yeah as it said it just looks like people are hunting her because she's now wanted um next we had harley quinn season three there was yeah. like an uncolored not fully animated teaser um it's been quite some time since season two it was like the end of 2019 i think it came out so there was kind of some humor in that trailer of yeah. Whenever the animators are done, we can finally yeah, we'll actually get a show done. Yeah, we'll It'll look get better. A show done. I also like that the uh, kite man's there. Uh, <laughs> kite man has been there all three seasons. Yep, uh, he is great. Um, comedy relief. Comedy relief. Yes, uh, the whole show is quite funny. Kill, uh, Killer Shark or King Shark is quite funny. Yeah, he is. Um, he is not a violent person. He just whenever he smells blood, his shark instincts take over. Um, but he is a tech-savvy shark, if you watched the first season. Um, then we got, I think the other big one I think most people are going to gonna want is Batman the Cape Crusader. Yeah, I mean, the one that's similar to the older Batman animated series, and it's made by the same yeah, people? Yeah, Bruce Timms is back. Um, Matt Reeves, the director of The Batman, is involved, and J.J. Abrams is on as a producer. So quite a quite a lineup to, to make that movie. Or to make that show. Yeah, and they're saying it's like a day zero Batman. There are no more, no other right. heroes. There's, you don't. He doesn't have a relationship with anybody. Um, most of these villains, he's probably never met before. Yes, you know, um, first interactions with Jim Gordon. With right, as I said, you won't. You you can't guarantee Gordon will work with him. Like right off the get go. Right off the get go. Right. They won't trust each other. They won't have that that bond of years of fighting crime has given them. Um. Yeah, they also said the tech in the beginning will be very simple. Yeah, for Batman. I said, you right. know, a new villain comes up, and then he has to figure out how to take that one. Right, so he'll have another gadget, and then as the show goes on, we'll get more and more gadgets. Uh, Bruce Timms also said he almost made it sound like it was going to be not a not an R-rated show, but more adult-friendly, because um, he said kind of the kids' gloves were off as he had to deal with them back in the day. When he made the original show, now he kind of can go back and redo his show, mm-hmm. kind of like the, the way, way he, he wants wanted to. to do it. But it was, I mean, even the animated series back in the day was pretty like like violent. I would it, say it was. It was quite good. Yeah, I mean, I've, I haven't seen all of it, uh, but it is. Yeah, it from what I've seen, it is quite good. There are some very deep episodes, some pretty dark episodes. I was say, that scary feel you would have that from there, like a lot of shadow usage and darkness. So yeah, pretty much the Batman. I think the one thing we missed was the DMZ show. Yeah, I that's a. I guess that's a uh, another side property of DC. 
Yeah, so we got Rosario Dawson. Um, she was in Sin City. Awesome actress as the main lead there. Daredevil and it's as Night Nurse. So she has made the switch from Marvel to DC. Um, this story is more of like a power society. Like things go down and now... It's like a second civil war. That was yeah. the vibe I was getting. Is these people are kind of stuck in the middle. Neither side will or can help them. And they're kind of on their own. Well, you know, whoever has the most power is the one that uh, controls stuff. And apparently she, uh, Rosario Dawson's character She's goes from one to, to the other. switch things up a little bit, it looks like. Yeah, like uh, she did from going from Marvel to DC. <laughs> <laughs> this is a four-part miniseries. Uh, expected pretty soon, actually, it's from the looks of it. Uh, there was a lot of pictures, a lot of set stuff. Um, probably next year sometime. They didn't give a release date, but... It looked very, very cool. I'm, I'm interested, so I hope you guys are too. And then I think the final big news, uh, which kind of came out of nowhere, was Pennyworth. Uh, the TV show is now making its way over to HBO Max early 2022, and a season three has been confirmed. Mm-hmm. So more DC goodness. Um, they just had the comic come out at DC, titled Pennyworth. Um, so check that out as well. Um, but that's about i think that's all that i have yeah, i think uh, we have covered pretty much most everything i mean i don't think we've missed anything I mean, we right. talked about the dogs we talked about the cats. <laughs> talked about the cars i mean we got we got everything um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed our breakdown i hope you guys enjoyed dc fandom yeah that was a long long nice introduction and uh, a lot of cool new trailers and definitely is a uh, a good placeholder till comic-con returns agreed um, the only thing, I, my only, my only big thing with I think fandom was no, no comics were really talked about. Yeah, it was very media it, geared. Yeah, it's definitely more of a, of a, everybody kind of thing. TV shows, movies, video games. And what about last year's fandom? I don't think there was many comic books really mentioned either. I mean, they talk about older comics. You know, they mentioned Court of Owls. They mentioned, you know, this and that books that some of the media might be based off of so at least they're giving creators their due in that sense and we um they also showed a lot of um uh what is it a uh, fan art there some was uh, there really was some amazing. really crazy fan art i mean yeah. i pick up a pencil and it stick figures like every time so yeah, there's, there's some amazing <laughs> people out there so you should there check is. them out check that out see who won that there was some cosplay stuff um, and some crisis little puzzle oh yeah there was a thing at the end by jim lee he had 16 pick uh art pieces he had posted on twitter uh over the last few weeks last four were posted today um and if you combine them it makes up the cover the two page cover of crisis on infinite earths yeah it was very uh, very cool to see it that way it was- but they also kind of hinted at something else, right? They they kind of stopped him from saying something. Obviously, saying that was part of the show. Yeah, they bleeped it out, though, so it makes you kind of think, okay, right. there's something here that he wants to say, and he's got in the works. Uh. One idea I thought immediately was, are they going to combine, start combining universes? Say, you know, sorry, CW, we enjoyed what you did, we enjoyed what you had, but... We're going to take those rights back. We're going to give them to HBO Max. We're going to just say, listen, we need we need all those rights back. Um, but we'll see with that. They said they would come up with more kind of over the next few months. Oh, yeah. No, exciting stuff, guys. Um, what, what was your favorite part of, of, of fandom? Uh, let's see. What did I really like here? Uh, I mean, besides the obvious. You can't say the Batman trailer. <laughs> well, what, what, what about bat cat bat cars justin <laughs> it's my favorite part no dmz um because it came out of nowhere i yeah, it looked quite cool i've not read the comic i assume there's a comic i'll have to take a look and see if i can find it yeah no i, I thought that would be really awesome um i love the creatures in shazam i mean oh, yeah, shazam, lo- magic- yeah shazam too the the mythology aspect of that um the cape crusader batman because it's got that old school uh, mm, feel that, to that'll it be another one i think that's probably going to be a, a top three pick of fandom of, of favorite moments and you know since i really like the boys i think peacemaker has definitely a boys vibe yeah i i feel like he fits in with the boys uh jupiter rising all those shows where superheroes are not perfect yeah not perfect in any way a little unhinged too uh-huh. really like that yes um so we'll see. We'll see where that goes. Uh, what about Peacemaker. you, Justin? Batman? <laughs> <laughs> what we no. waited for. Yes, for we for waited hours. four hours for that. And it was worth it. Don't get me wrong. It was worth it. But I have to agree. The, the DMZ show looked quite interesting. Um, 
animated show again. Uh, the Flash movie. That oh, teaser. yeah. I would have liked a little more. I want to see Flash running. I think I want to see what that's going to look like. Yeah. Um, is it everything else just kind of frozen and he's normal speed? Is everything just kind right. of uh, flaky? Um, I'm trying to think. Was there anything else? I think the two Flash thing in that movie was what really got me. I was not expecting to see two Flashes on screen at the same time. But uh, other than that, uh, oh, they confirmed the live-action Static Shock movie with okay. Michael B. Jordan producing. I so. actually used to watch that back in the day yeah, when it came out. Yeah, that's another animated show that I think people uh, watched a lot. They should like this news. Yeah, no, it's like that brings me back. It's been It's been years. Um, and I think the last thing I've not watched the show, but the Star Girl teaser. It looked it was really creepy. good. Uh, Obsidian looked really cool. Yeah, it seemed uh, like they were in different dimensions and stuff. Uh, yeah, you'll go to Obsidian's. I guess is his his, his like midnight area. You saw it in Infinite Frontier. I don't really know what he called it, um, but he's obviously the a villain of that show. You see Doctor Midnight at the end, um, but just the trailer itself was unsettling. They had uh, one of the children songs kind of creepily hanging in the background yeah that little kid also like oh yeah the little kid is definitely like starting to saw very sound very horror movie he's like yeah. you ready to play a game like, yeah he was creepy so no no i don't want to play a game see, I, mean, I would say that i before i'd see star girl and be like it looks very kiddy and now you see this and go, okay there might be a story there might be more that, more that to is it another cw show um but yeah i think that's gonna do it i think that's gonna do it what was your guys's favorite moment from fandom Let's talk about it in the comments below and uh, let us know. Please subscribe. Um, hit the like button. Uh, anything help? Subscribe button, like button, share the video if you're if you're really liking our channel. And then really tell us what you think. I mean, we need uh, to hear from you guys so right. we get better. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we will talk to you guys this coming week. We got this week's comic releases. And um, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this week, guys. All right. Well, thanks for watching and in today's timeline.